2,000 miles east of Africa. A tropical paradise awaits you. An Indian Ocean hideaway where fantasy becomes reality. Banyan Tree, Cornish Bay, the future of island living. To create the ultimate tropical hideaway, you need the finest location, world-class architecture, and people with vision and passion. I visited Mauritius 22 years back and fell in love with the island. We assembled a team, some of the best professionals in the world, to take care of every aspect of the project. We have got Fosters, Banyan Tree, Gary Player, some of the big players in the marketplace that would make this resort something extremely special. Banyan Tree Cornish Bay is a development of 115 villas, a luxury spa hotel and a world-class Gary Player designed golf course, all occupying a 437-acre hillside site that overlooks the stunning Cornish Bay and Le Morne Peninsula. There is this wonderful sea. You've got an island in front of you in the middle of the lagoon, and you suddenly realize, with the, with the mountain in the background, that you have got you know, a bit of paradise. This foster development is, is really the key to it, because they have designed some dramatic houses, the like of which I've never seen before and we all think they are beautiful. When you come into a particular site, when you, the first you see of it, which is what I did, was when I approached by boat across a lagoon that you could almost walk across, that you could see the sandy bottom, and then you see the forest, and then you realize that's the site. And so we've designed buildings that sit very gently into the landscape. They curve where the contours curve, they're straight where the contours are straight. And then the roofs are all made of uh, materials like timber, the walls are made of lava stone, etc. So they fit very gently into this amazing volcanic island that's Mauritius. There are four main villa types, each secluded in approximately one acre of land. The three bedroom I type, with spectacular views from every room. The four bedroom S type, with an emphasis on entertainment space. The four-bedroom U-type, designed to bring the outside into the living areas. And the four to five bedroom T-type, the most exclusive villa, positioned high up on the mountainside. There's a range of dramatic infinity pools and entertaining rooms. Interior and exterior spaces blend seamlessly into one. And every villa has uninterrupted sunset views of the Indian Ocean. With all this beauty comes leading edge eco engineering from the masters of design. When we design a project, it's from the door handle up to the whole project. So it's all about the roofs coming down low. It's all about large outdoor space that is sheltered, um, where you can sit outside. The sun is tropical. You want to be outside, but you want to be protected from it. And then when it comes down to the interiors, it's like you can take all of these amazing materials that are on the island, the, the rock, the timber, and you can use them in a very, what's termed, tropical way. So it's a very rich interior. You know, the kitchen worktops are made out of, of solid stone that's been taken from the boulders on the site and then carved up and then placed on there. The roof curbs may take their inspiration from the landscape, but the design is as practical as it is beautiful. And underneath you can see the very intricate roof structure that's made out of laminated timber, engineered timber, and then a tough roof in the middle that provides your your waterproofing and your weather conditioning, and the glazing line, which is completely cyclone-proof along this line here. 
and we allow the sea breezes that come from the lagoon up the hillside, up through the house and out the other side. And as the, as the day swaps around, as the mountain gets hotter, then the wind comes down the other side throughout the afternoon. So we have louvers, high-level glass louvers, that allow this breeze to come in and out of the house. So you can actually open up the whole facade and turn off the air conditioning and have it a completely naturally ventilated, wonderful place to be. Design ingenuity is also reflected in the overall layout. Heavy planting around each villa ensures maximum privacy without compromising the view. While separate staff accommodation effortlessly becomes an extra bedroom. Just a short stretch from your villa on the edge of the lagoon, the luxury continues with the ultimate Banyan Tree Spa and Hotel. Banyan Tree is a leading manager and developer of niche resorts and spas, offering a sanctuary for romance and intimacy with a green conscience. Its signature Asian style resonates through each hotel and every development strives to ensure that guests enjoy the natural beauty of their surroundings. Banyan Tree's brand promise is delivered through a diverse team of associates who hail from over 50 different nationalities. This approach feeds through to other elements of the Banyan Tree experience, including the world-renowned spa, where each therapist has reached the highest level of expertise, with over 300 hours training at the Banyan Tree Spa Academy. Cornish Bay is Banyan Tree's first hotel in Mauritius, and the project is a celebration of innovative and creative design, combined with sustainable construction and architecture. In addition to all this, there will be a pristine 250-metre beach, along with yacht moorings and a deep-water channel. The leisure opportunities continue with a stunning Gary Player-designed tropical golf course. I'm very excited to be designing and working on the Banyan Tree Golf Course at Cornish Bay in Mauritius. These wonderful views of the Indian Ocean and this peak, Le Morne, is something one never gets tired of looking at. This is a perfect setting for us to design the golf course that will help everybody to enjoy their game. I want you to go out there and have fun. If you're a good player, there'll be a challenge. If you're an old hacker and just play golf occasionally, you will also enjoy it. Beauty is a very, very important part. When we leave, we like to always say, we gave a gift to nature. Eighteen airlines fly to Mauritius directly from around the world. So getting to the ultimate Indian Ocean hideaway has never been so easy. Africa is just four hours away. The Middle East and Asia, seven hours. Europe, Russia and Australia, 12 hours. Upon arrival in Mauritius, it's a brief helicopter trip or 45 kilometer drive to Banyan Tree Cornish Bay in the southwest corner of the island. Here you can escape to paradise with a sophisticated infrastructure. There are excellent leisure, shopping and dining facilities and a refreshing quality of life. I think the difference is simply because of the people. And I think, you know, you, 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 you meet the, the, the taxi driver, you meet somebody from the bank, you meet somebody at the Board of Investment, you meet anybody. And it's the same kind of uh, warm feeling that you get. And I think the people make the difference. It's really feeling that you're part of something as soon as you land. And you, you feel comfortable. Be the language, everybody speaks English, French and so on. You feel welcome. The lifestyle evolves around the sea, it evolves around a beautiful climate. So if you happen to be someone who likes yachting and, and, and boating, the facilities are there. If you like fishing, the facilities are there. If you're someone who enjoys golf, that facility's also there. And you need not worry about staying in touch with the rest of the world. Mauritius has 100% mobile coverage and 86% Blackberry coverage. You like the great place, but you know your Blackberry needs to work. You need to be connected on high-speed internet. You know, you need to make that phone call and people need to access you. 
any time. You got to get into a plane and, and get to London the next day, or to Paris, or, or to New York. Do you have this kind of connectivity? Yes, you have. This high-tech connectivity also helps make Mauritius a great place to do business. Over the last few years, Mauritius has worked hard to transform its economy from one based largely on sugarcane and textiles to a broad portfolio of global businesses, including elite tourism and financial services. And the first big plus for doing business in Mauritius is the time zone. You can do business throughout the day. In the morning, because of the time zone difference, you can do business with East Asia, by midday with Europe, and late afternoon, you can clip the eastern board of the United States. Mauritius has also been ranked the number one country for business in Africa by the World Bank and International Finance Corporation. Today, we're already a hub in terms of exports from China into Africa. And we're looking at the same thing happening in terms of the resources flow from Africa to China and India. We've got an elaborate and very intricate financial infrastructure. We've got most of the big banks in Mauritius. HSBC is celebrating its 100th year presence in Mauritius. I think this goes a long way to say that how developed the country is. Banyan Tree Cornish Bay buyers are eligible for Mauritian residency and numerous other financial benefits, including exceptionally low taxation. Mauritius is the unique country in this part of the world that has gone for a single rate of taxation, both for personal income tax and for corporate tax. When you become a resident, yeah. taxed at 15% only because corporate tax and income tax is 15% in Mauritius. And at the same time, when you are a resident in Mauritius for tax purposes, you're not taxed on your worldwide income, whether it is earned or unearned, unless it is remitted to Mauritius. And as well as all this, there is simply no inheritance tax or capital gains tax. When running a business or a home in a foreign country, securing the right staff can be a concern, but this island has much existing talent and an eager developing workforce. One doesn't have to worry about the skill set in Mauritius. Um, Mauritius has a, is a, an emerging economy, a strong economy, um, some big businesses. Um, the country also um, is a fairly educated population group. Um, a lot of the education has happened in France. We've got uh, a pool of talented people of highly skilled people, uh, based on the fact that education is free in this country since 1976 until tertiary. So therefore, I mean, we've got a body of, uh, of people that can actually service, I think, in any sector. And this excellent local workforce is central to the Banyan Tree Cornish Bay scheme, which aims to promote long-term community mentorship and training. The immediate community comprises of two villages, small villages, Kotara Farm, which directly faces our site next to the hotel, and La Goalette. These two communities represent 3,000 people. But in terms of the work ethic, they are extremely keen to make sure that they have the necessary skills to put them at the front of the queue for often very important uh, support functions, and these would represent excellent employment opportunities. There's a huge history of loyalty on the island and, um, and that's something we really want to foster uh, in terms of the Cornish Bay scheme. Banyan Tree and Cornish Bay development um, is really a set apart from anything that we've got on the island right now. But I think that that the magic about that particular site is the fact that you can't take the view away. The water really is beautiful, but the sunsets are also magnificent, and every day is just a little bit uh, different down there. They've done something which this country has never seen before, in terms of the, 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 the design, the quality, the time that is spent in really doing something that respects the, the surroundings, and that blends into the surroundings, in a manner that has been unseen so far. Cornish Bay is still special in my heart, and I feel today that we have created something extremely beautiful, and we have set a standard for the rest of the world to follow, not just in Mauritius, but all over the world. The architecture is going to be exceptional. 
The location where it is is superb. In fact, we have already seen in some of the top magazines, the design has captured the imagination of people and some people believe that it's going to be one of the best uh, projects, not only in Mauritius, but also in the world. To find out more about Banyan Tree Cornish Bay, visit either our Mauritian or London marketing suites. Contact one of our sales teams, Pam Golding Properties or Aylesford International. Or visit us online at cornishbay.com.